everybody, I'm Rachel. Today on Hardworking Man, we are taking some of this dry ash that Heath got from our property up north, and we're gonna be running it through the eight-way on the Allwood log splitter, and just shoving it, throwing it, whatever you wanna call it, into the bed of this truck. We have our roadside stands to fill, so we don't have to stack anything, thank goodness. So, straight from truck to truck. And, uh, I don't know, it's a beautiful day out today. I don't have to wear a stocking cap or freeze my butt off. So let's hope this is fun. <laughs> As you can see, I got a new window in the truck after I smashed it out a few videos ago. So hopefully we won't throw a split through it today. <laughs> <laughs> I will not, I'll promise you that. You do randomly chuck them sometimes. When I'm mad at you, maybe. <laughs> all right, let's get the all wood fired up and see how long this takes us. That's an eight foot bed and it's mounted up pretty good. I'm pretty sure I'm overloaded because that thing's sitting down on the axles, but shouldn't take long out of the Silverado, through the all wood, into the Silverado. So Later. here we go. Somebody asked how close this push plate gets to the wedge. So we're going to show you. If only we had an elevator, this would all load right into the truck. Thank you. 
tripod, you can't hand film for long running this eight way because as you see, it just pumps out the wood and then we got to pick it up off the ground. So I'll throw this camera on the tripod. I'll grab them off the splitter into the truck and hopefully I can keep up. size for that roadside stand out of this eight way.
I can't keep up. Woo! There goes the window almost. It's not going to be good for me. all day. The perfect size. Bump it up a little. They get jammed sometimes.
pop it up a little. So when it does that, sometimes it has one pinched and it's like jamming it in there. Yeah. So if it's doing that, if it's doing that, you can bump that up a teeny bit and it might just shove it, you know what I'm saying, while it's going. If it's a knotty piece, it's not going to matter, but if it's just one that's wedged, it will. Like this one's just knotty. We ain't going to fit it all. Something. We're out of room. Change of plans. The splits took up a lot more room than the rounds did. So we're not going to be able to split everything straight into the dually. We're going to throw the rounds that are left on the log lift, split them, and throw them right back into the black truck. All right, here we go. The rest of the splits going into black. All right. Here All we right, go. here we go. All right, so. truck to truck, rounds to splits, the roadside stand's going to be restocked with some premium ash. The junkier stuff went in the gorilla cart, three of those carts went down to our back door, we'll burn that ourselves, 
And we had some leftover. The rounds take up less space than the splits do. And I was surprised by how much. What do we have, about 10, 15 rounds left there at the end that we had to throw back mm -hmm. into the black truck? And we've done that test before with IBC totes and it definitely, the splits take up more room. So I used to think if I was buying a load of rounds, I was getting less of a value than buying a load of splits, but that's not the case because the splits have more airspace in them, which is why they drive better. That's right. <laughs> so this kind of splitting is what I like. I prefer to do it off our table, but we don't have the table here today. So, but I just like that fast paced pull pull and like send the rounds through send them through he's had a hard time Couldn't keeping keep up. up rachel flies through that wood when i had to start throwing the pieces more gently to not smash out my back window she was just cranking them out onto the ground that's how i like working though like i just want to work at a fast pace no mercy no mercy <laughs> not as fast as like our splitter bores but i mean Check out those videos if you haven't. But, I, I mean, to me, it's a lot more fun. So, I mean, if you like watching that sort of thing, let us know. Or, you know. Subscribe. <laughs> Hit the thumbs up. <laughs> You're so creepy when you say it like that. Right. Well. So uh, thanks for tuning in and hit the like button, subscribe if you're not. If you want to get a notification when we put a new video out, hit that bell icon and enjoy the rest of your day, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. <laughs>